Let's uh, welcome in the management of Thermax now, which is the next company we are speaking to. This is, of course, post their earnings. Revenues are up nearly 60% year on year on a low base, but surging input costs have hit the company's profit and margin performance this quarter. Ashish Bhandari is Managing Director and CEO at Thermax. He's joining us to take some questions. Ashish, great to have you with us here. Thank you very much. Just explain to us the mechanics of how the margins work through during the quarter uh, and... Uh, you know what is what is the out? How are things looking this quarter so far? Q2 so far on the margin front. Firstly, a very warm welcome and thank you so much to all your viewers as well for listening in. Um, no surprises on the numbers in the sense that the commodity prices, what happened in March and April, impacted the quarter significantly. And at one point, we were predicting uh, worse numbers than where we ended up. Uh, by June, some of the impact of our price increases, the little bit of softening on commodity prices resulted in a much better June. So overall, absolutely thrilled with the performance that we uh, delivered at the end of the quarter. It gives us some confidence going into Q2 and a little bit into Q3 as well. The later part of Q3 is difficult to see, but Q2 and the beginning part of Q2, Q3 we have confidence in based on having a very strong backlog and some stability in commodity prices now. Uh, so there was, in your margin performance, uh, it was below some brokerages estimates because there was a bit of weakness in the environment segment and in the chemical segment. Your chemical segment EBIT margins were less than 4% and your environment segment margins were less than 2%. Uh, do you continue to face operational pressures there? Um, in the chemicals business, we went through a triple whammy in a way. We had uh, impact from commodity prices, a business which does quite a bit of exports where freight had an impact. And this was actually coming in from as a hangover from previous quarters as well. But this last quarter, we went through a massive cleanup of our prices. We increased prices significantly, walked away from, from a few contracts. And if I just go back and look at the quarter as a whole, March, the chemicals business actually had negative profitability. April was negative uh, profitability. Uh, May and June, June was sequentially the best month in this last quarter. And this particular quarter, we expect normalcy with double digit profitability in our, our chemicals business uh, back. Uh, on the environmental business, mm -hmm. same thing, yeah, commodity price impact where some of the longer based projects, we, we went through a bit of a tough cycle. Most of that is under control as well. Wow. Yeah, so, so and, and in environment business, our volumes will increase based on the backlog. Mm -hmm. And some of the volume impacts um, helping the bottom line, the way we have seen in the energy segment, we will see in the environment segment as well in coming quarters. On the chemicals, uh, th uh, you're saying that margins will go from around 4% to double digit in this, uh, in the quarter we are in. Because that's the historical uh, yeah. basis here. Yeah? The, the business is typically a profitability in the teens and we'll continue to get it back to normalcy. Mm. This last quarter, last two quarters were, and it wasn't entirely a surprise. We were working through a whole series of actions and they culminated last quarter. And now we should see resumption towards what we hope hope is regular performance. So Q1, uh, Q1 last year, that segment had uh, almost 18% margins. Uh, so you're saying yes. you, you'd go back to those levels? We expect not to 18%, but at least get to double-digit profitability. And last year, we saw that cycle getting worsening, yeah, 18%, and then the margins continued to go down. And in fact, Q4 in chemicals was a 0% margin. Yeah, so... So from that, Q1 was a bit of an imp improvement. Q2 should be a significant improvement. Okay. Can you tell us what the synergies will be from your recent acquisition of Kovasis Tech, Jalansar Wind Energy and Kanakal uh, Wind Energy? So you have made these acquisitions, but just wanted to understand when will they start to sort of um, you know flow through in your revenue stream? No, so they are not um, acquisitions. One, Kovaxis specifically is a minority investment with an eye towards creating digital services. And this one in particular is around energy management uh, services to be able to go out to companies and help them understand their um, energy usage, industrial customers, and with a very predictive manner, reduce those energy uh, expenses. And the 
the this is just a bet on the digital side of what is needed to be able to deliver the solution mm -hmm. so it's a it is to bring the digital and the physical together and it's a minority investment the other two that you are talking about um, are more on the solar side where we are expanding our solar opex business and uh, the impact of that solar opex business will start to show in in q3 and q4 q1 and q2 is more setting up the assets and as part of that there are some um, some investments and um, some acquisitions that have happened the impact will show up in q3 and q4 Okay, Ashish, we leave it at that. Thanks a lot for joining us. All the best. That's the word coming in from Thermax. By the way, the market is still uh, continues to be actually all over the place. The mid cap index is bearing a